Hey guys, Power Auto Media here at SEMA 2012. When you come to this show, one of the booths that is front and center is gear vendors. I'm here with Rick Johnson. Rick, how did you guys get this front and center placement here at SEMA? <laughs> Hi, John. Um, well, for starters, we've been around for 32 years. We won our best engineered, first best engineered award at SEMA in 1981. So, a long time ago. And now you guys are right here, front and center. So you guys do aftermarket overdrive. Tell me why that's something that I'd want to put in my car. Well, for one, horsepower is cheaper than it's ever been. GearVendors has always been this high dollar, you know, expensive overdrive to bolt on to the best transmissions that were ever made. So Turbo 400 comes to mind for virtually everybody, but also Ford C6s and, and Torque Flight 727s and 904s and, you know, all the big three's best transmissions. And then the best manual transmissions as well. Everything from Muncie's and T10s and Ford top loaders and 833s to Jericho's and, and Tex Racing and, you know, whatever the best tranny it, for your car that didn't have overdrive. You know, but we're close ratio. What made the muscle car perform was keeping the ratios close. And so Giverners makes an overdrive so that you can keep those close ratio transmissions and add overdrive to it. But our guys, like, like this 2,500 horsepower Camaro sitting behind me that's driven on the street at Drag Week, you know, that wants a 210 first gear and a Turbo 400 built by Rosler, you know, three gears up to drive, then .778 overdrive. And that's how you get real performances, close ratios. So what's the advantage over, say, just swapping the whole transmission or putting a new rear end in a car? Well, as you start making more horsepower, now you, you're even more concerned with keeping the ratios close, okay, so that you can make advantage of that horsepower. And, and you have, by keeping the ratios close, you actually inherently make the transmission stronger. So the gear vendor, you keep those close ratios and keep the car in the power band without, without having to, to change much more than that. Well, when you, when you have a wide ratio tranny and you try to start locking down the clutches, you start breaking hard parts. And if you don't lock down the clutches, you have a lot of horsepower, you start burning up clutches. So that's why every tranny in the muscle car era was always close ratio. So today we can build a Turbo 400 in the aftermarket that is good for 2,500 horsepower and, it, and the overdrive that'll go with that is the gear vendors. Whereas a factory OE swap transmission for a guy who's just putting and going on power tour, you know, doing a car show circuit, doing the good guys thing, doing all that, he's a wax and buff guy. That's a perfectly great transmission for him, a, a tranny swap with an overdrive transmission out of a late model car. But it's not performance oriented. You know, our guy, when he's on Mulholland Drive, you know, twisty, windy road out of Hollywood, he wants to hit the corners. You know, he wants, he's a driver. You know, he wants close ratios so that he can downshift and upshift into and out of corners. And, the gear, and he needs an overdrive that, you know, at the end of the day that doesn't let him down, doesn't break. So that's why we're a sponsor of things like Hot Rod Drag Week, you know. Uh, Let's talk about that for a second. I want to hear about this Camaro we're standing in front of. <laughs> okay. Well, the Camaro is owned by Dave Ahokas, who's competed with us uh, for years at Hot Rod Drag Week in a 41 Willys with a sunny lettered 700 cubic inch motor and a power glide gear vendors. And now he shows up this year with a Jerry Bickle built Pro Mod car that somehow he miraculously gets a VIN for <laughs> and, and has real 69 grill and headlights on a, out of a Camaro in. The thing's all carbon fiber, weighs 2,500 pounds. Kenny Duttweiler motor, 417 cubic inch motor with uh, 80 millimeter precision turbos on it and uh, a Rosler 210 400 and gear vendors. Yeah, so license run, he did a 70 flat at 208 miles an hour. Um, you know, 85% throttle on the 1 2 shift when we downloaded the data. You know, um, that was to earn his license for this class. So obviously, these gear vendor parts are definitely putting rubber to the road. Where can we get some more information? Well, you go to Gear Vendors' website, gearvendors.com, of course, and uh, there we have videos. You can see a shop tour. You can see in-depth videos on how we assemble, a general overview videos, and drag strip videos, and all that kind of stuff. Lots of good information that way. Very cool. We'll check it out. Thanks for being with us here on Power Auto Media at SEMA 2012.